Hi, welcome to Katanker's Tech. My name is Arthur, and I want to show you uh, green screens in Blender and how stupid easy it is now. Hey there, I'm a mess, but that's not important right now. Right now, we're going to look at this green screens. Green screens are actually very awesome now. So let's go, let's go call this um, the girl save and then we need see background I'm using pexels which offers free uh images and videos and whatnot we gotta find a a cool spot for the girl that looks fun is this good oh that's excellent look at that so download save that it's cool we got some assets let's make fucking green screen now green screens are one of those things that to get perfect is really hard but to get passable especially with blender is actually quite simple so we got the girl here she's talking we can't hear her i don't know why we can't hear her, but whoever uploaded this did not include audio and if you can see there's like a banding like effect so i think the background is actually projected behind her and this waterfall thing, it just looks nice. Real quick, let's see. This one's um, this one's a 4K clip, and it's 36 seconds. Way too long. How long is this girl? This is 17 seconds, also 4K. Oh, wait, this is 24 frames a second. This one, 29. That's okay. We're going to have the background be slowed down. It's fine. I won't tell. If you don't tell, I won't tell. So what we do? we got to open up Blender. Now, Blender is surprisingly a bit of a, a, a juggernaut when it comes to uh, green screens. So first things we wanna do is we wanna make sure this matches. So I'm gonna go here to the output. We're gonna do, that is um, 3840, 3840 by, I think it's uh, um, 2160. There we go. Now we don't need that as big. Step one, we want to use nodes. We gotta get rid of the render layer because we're not gonna fuck with that. I'm gonna add another output, which is gonna be a viewer, so we can see what we're doing. And let's just first let's grab the girl. Boom. The girl is here. Um 17 seconds. I'm gonna drop this down because I'm lazy. I'm gonna drop this down to let's say 150 seconds. Yeah, we don't need it to be very long. This is just this is just for an example, you know. So first thing we do is we bring this over here, to there, here to there. It's kind of big, so if we go here to view, fit, because I'm lazy. And we grab this and cut and it merges. That was a uh, shift and then the right click button. It took me forever to figure that one out. I saw someone do it once, and no one would tell me that it was shift and your right click on your mouse. All right, cool. So now the preview and the output is shared. Let's drag in the waterfall. So we have a waterfall now. We have the footage. Cool, and this automatically moves forward as the video moves forward. I think auto refresh is turned on, yes. I'm missing something. Well, I'll figure that out later. Color space color management standard there we go so let's go first thing we want to do is we want to cut the background so king dump grab that grab a dark part of the green right there look at that we're basically done is it a perfect key well we can find out by grabbing this and putting it there it's a pretty close to perfect key. Let's bring in the white a little bit. There we go. Depending on what you're doing, if your stakes are low, it doesn't really even matter if it's a perfect key because, you know, it's fine. It's fine, dude. A little pre-blur. And now we drag that back in there. That's a pretty damn good key. All right, cool, 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 cool. 
So now we want an alpha over, I think is under mat. Color alpha over, there we go, boom. And boom, we want to swap them, boom. I'm, I'm fucking something up. I'm too tired to be doing this. All right, so take that off. Bring that way over here. This image goes to that image. There we go. And then that goes into there. And then we drag that into there. That into there. There it is. There we just keyed it. But it's not updating in real time, is it? Why? Why is it not updating in real time? Start frame. Frames. Oh, obviously 150. There we go. Frames. 150. There. That's such a, such a dumb thing that I didn't know. It's such a dumb thing. So that, that, that's it. Like you could probably tweak in there harder to get a, get a better key, but this is a pretty flawless key, especially for something rough and dirty. There you go. And this is a 4k key. So, which is nice. You want a key higher resolution and then shrink down because if there is any weird little mistakes, like a little bit, there's a little bit of green bleeding, for example, around her hand. You can't really, can't really see it because mostly in the blur of her moving, but as you can see, like the hair is going to be pretty good. But a lot of those errors will shrink if you start, you know, at 4K and export at 2K. All my videos on YouTube damn near are 2K because I don't care about 4K. Like no one really noticed the difference, especially when the majority of people watch videos on their phones. And some phones even max out a 720p screen. Like, are they going to see the 4K? Uh, no, they're not. So let's render this bitch out. So I'm going to render the desktop. Let's go print thingabobber. I'm going to switch to FFmpeg. And I'm going to encode. I'm going to put it in a MPEG-4 container. HU64 perceptually lossless. Not actually lossless. Because again, I just don't care that much. A desktop and um, green.mp4. There we go. Uh, 150 frames, render, animation. And you just like kick back. This could take a few seconds. I have a pretty powerful computer now. It's not going to take very long. She'll start moving eventually. And uh, now we can see this. 4k clip that I made with blender and half-assing a green screen because I'm lazy. So for real, um, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. If you want to see more of my, um, kind of sloppy and sometimes very tired videos. Thanks for putting up with my, I'm really tired. <laughs> um, feel free to subscribe the little, thing down there to subscribe is available for you to sm to smash. Oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. If you want to financially back whatever this is, um, you can join my awesome board of patrons. These, these cats are so cool. They, they keep me going. So I'm just going to let this loop because I hate it when people show you their rendered thing and they show it for like that one three second clip they made and they don't show anything else. So I'm gonna let it loop so you can get a good feel of the quality. Now I just cranked this video out really fast because well, I haven't made a video in a while and I really wanted to share this thing that I thought was pretty cool. Cause I haven't used, I haven't used Blender's uh, green screen functions in a very long time, but it's really good. It's really good. It's It does not take much to do out of the box, it does 99%. Like, out of the box, I feel like the green screen it produces is far superior to what I used to be able to do with a lot of tweaking. And that's saying something.